know, the analogy I'll use is that they're like a plant. And learning is the water and the fertilizer that keeps the plant healthy and keeps it growing. And if you stop learning, you will shrivel and die. And uh, although we're not growing in size, but we're growing in intellectual capacity, we're growing in terms of our experiences, our knowledge, and our wisdom. And, uh, and I think in the absence of that, it's, it's no fun living. The reason it's important for companies is that your business environment, the context, the competition is radically changing. It's being disrupted. It's being disrupted by technology. It's being disrupted by globalization. You know, it's being, it's, so there are a lot of disruptive forces at work. So the only way to continue to stay relevant is to innovate. And what is innovation? At the end of the day, innovation is about learning new skills and learning new things. So as an organization, you have to overcome your learning disabilities and uncreate that environment where you're always questioning and always learning. As an individual, it's a more personal thing. It's a more personal idea that, you know, if you're not learning, you're not growing. Mm -hmm. And you could, you know, you could get by with just doing what you're doing for the rest of your life. But is that what you really want to do? Is that what self-actualization is to you? So to me, really, lifelong learning is 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 not even something that you need, you know, that, that is a nice to do. It's a must do. Mm. It's really kind of uh, food for the brain, food for the soul. Professionally, uh, I learned, uh, and in fact, I've begun to teach uh, this concept that we now call, is, is called growth hacking. Growth hacking is the mindset of hacking applied to figuring out how you can grow a business. So it's about creative and unconventional approaches and data-driven experimentation approaches that sort of is the combination of lean, lean thinking and analytics. Mm -hmm. So uh, I became interested in this as I started to look at how I could teach bigger companies to think like startups. So I went and researched this whole area. I, I, I talked to people, I studied it, and, and now I, I teach. Uh, this concept of growth hacking. All this happened in the last three months. And on the personal front, one of the things that I keep learning is uh, I love cooking. I cook gourmet food, so I, ah. so you know my my, and and there again I try to push the boundaries. I don't try to do the same thing over. So I think uh, so. What I did recently was I made a whole uh, Moroccan meal, uh, you know, sort of six course meal, but uh, but really pushing the. The, the, the boundaries of my culinary expertise. So, so that's, uh, you know, that's something that. And then I think the other thing that I learn, uh, and I am continually fascinated by is travel and meeting people from different cultures. I've been to over 60 countries, and mm -hmm. that's always an amazing uh, learning experience, just sort of you know, understanding uh, what makes people different and what makes people the same around the world.